Hi everyone, my name is Sophia. Welcome to this community. Uh, before I start, just want to say a massive shout out and hello to Kwan. Uh, it's really nice because when I do these videos, normally I get the downloads and I do them straight away. But because Kwan is obviously um, here with me now, although he's planning to move soon, but and he's going to take over the community and more he's engaged with his community and stuff like that and he gets the same kind of we're on the same page now so i can talk to him what chats i'm gonna do so anyway so um it's nice because he gets it so um i talk to him and then i can do these videos as well so i just want to say uh, uh thanks to kwan anyway this video i'm going to talk to you about is to people in mission and to you that are watching in the background Normally I would send this kind of video to just mission, but everyone needs to hear it and it's going to be quite contentious. Well, <laughs> that's why I'm here really, because it's going to go against things that is a rooted belief system, which you think is helping you. And that's why I've called the, the title, the devil, the devil wears pride Prada. Now, that's a Hollywood film. I'm talking about the title, not necessarily the actual movie. So the two things I want to talk about in this video is um, labels and uh, yoga. Yes, yoga. Um, I want to start off by talking about the titles first, <laughs> because I want you to hear that. And then I'll talk about the, the yoga. Now... This community is what one would class as, it sounds vain, but I don't know how else to say it. it's quite advanced. Because I get downloads, as many of you lot do, but the reason why you don't do it is connected with, and I'll talk about that with yoga, <laughs> is because you, you don't listen to it or you listen to it at specific times, which I need to talk about. When I get downloads, I and I generally like I had a download about this. I talked to Quan, he totally got it, and then I done this video. It's, I normally do it without talking to Quan, but it's just nice to chat to him about it. But um, having someone who's on the same page is pretty cool. But when it comes to things such as um, labels of anything, that is always a hidden agenda. Because I've just done a tower reading, but what this planet simply is, is just an experience. I am here to, I chose, everyone chooses to be on this planet. This planet is very unique. And if you are here, because everyone hears of if you commit suicide, it's a bad act. Because there is billions of entities that would love to choose to experience this planet. And if you've come here and you haven't mastered how to experience it because you are programmed of a belief, which is a choice that you can choose to change that, that's then on you. That's why suicide is classed as really bad. But what I'm talking about here is the Prada is in um, dis uh, uh, the devil disguised in Prada because as I was saying, with anything with a label, when it comes to the label, that is still a separation. And what this, like I said, it's just an experience. I chose to come on this planet Earth to be, chose to be this body suit. The label of black is the elite and secret society. Now, if you're watching me and you're black, you're not black, are you? I'll give you an example. This is black. Am I black? So I can't even label myself as something that I'm not even that colour. You who is what white who's watching me, are you white? Get a piece of white paper, put it next to your skin. The label is always the elite secret society underneath it. So this video is about labels. And I want to talk about the labels of genders as well. So the experience you chose, I chose to experience coming down here as this black label. And I experienced to whatever I choose of love frequency. So at the moment, I choose my person who is a male. So I choose to experience being 
with a male. Not, I choose to be experienced being straight. No, nah, that's a label. I choose to experience being with David, for example. This is where you, hmm, most of you get confused. The elite and secret society do more homework than what you think. They follow all the latest trends of the ignorant and the asleep. So this trend of gay straight, this LB whatever alphabet they put behind it, people are now coming out with this new label of non-label. But hold on a minute. That's still a label, right? Because this is the experienced planet. So calling it non-label is still labeling it. Hi, I'm Sophia. I'm my, my, I, I'm labeled as non-label. So now there's another new trend of this gender, non-gender, non-label of non-binary. Hold on a minute. That's another label. This community is created to say this is the experienced planet. I hope you lot understand that concept. You're just here to experience. It's not I experience to be gay. No. I experience to be straight. No. Because who knows? Say I'm with David for 10 years. I might then choose to be with a woman. So what? Am I straight? Am I gay? Am I bisexual? I don't feel like I'm straight or I'm gay or I'm bisexual. I just feel like I love David and I want to be with David. And in 10 years, that might fade and I might love a woman. Non-label. It's not like, because if I come up here and say I'm gay, then I'll be like, well, well, what if I choose not to? Because it's an experience. So that's what this is about. The label of gay, straight, black, white, binary, non-label, non-gender is bullshit. And you're getting pulled into the devil wearing Prada in disguise. Now, I want to talk about yoga. Because most spiritual gurus fall for that bullshit. Yes, I did call it bullshit. But bear with before you're like, whoa, I got the non-label. I'm cutting out because I do yoga and connect with source. And Sophia's right off by saying yoga's bullshit. As a spiritual leader, I hear people out before I then place judgment. So I urge you to hear me out first. Then place your own judgment. I've already explained the label. This planet is for non-labels. So anything that is classed as spirituality, a label. Religion, a label. Yoga, a label. Christianity, a label. Do you get my point? I want to ask you a question. I mentioned spiritual leaders, which I don't like that word. But hey, we still have to label things because this world is fucked and people identify to the label, which I want to talk about at the end. But let's say spiritual leaders such as Marcus Garvey was amazing. Um, I say was, but they, they, but he is still here. He's incarnated as me. Bob Marley is inc incarnated as me. King Selassie is incarnated as me. John Lennon is incarnated as me. So they are still here. There is no death. But I speak about them. But you show me a video of those little people I spoke about, not as little as in essence of how they change planet Earth. I'm talking about the amounts because there's loads of other massive spiritual, um, a load of other spiritual leaders. Show me all the pictures of them sitting there cross-legged on a mountain doing yoga. Please send it to me. Now, let me break that down. Anything with a label is a devil in Prada disguise of the elite secret society laughing at you. They've labeled it. Now, let me break down the actual practice for you. So you're sitting here doing this and you're closing your eyes and you're going upstairs and you're asking for something. Uh, what's the difference between doing this? And going upstairs in a church called religion and asking for something. Please explain that to me. It's a cult. A cult, which is a culture, which is a label, 
which is a religion. So Buddhist, Buddhism and all that stuff is a religion. Why? Because we're here to just experience it. I want to give you another example. Have you ever heard me say I was meditating and then I had this aha moment of what to do? Never that. Let me break this down a little bit more. Why is it detrimental to you? Because I had a plan of what to do. I need to go to Tesco. I need to go to the shops. I need to get some food. I haven't had time to do it. And I've done a, t a tower reading. Then I had a download of, well, hold on, talk to them about this video. So I said to Guan, listen, I had this download. He's like, yeah, I have in that as well. I'm totally on that, especially the yoga thing, blah, blah, blah. So I'm here. Here's why this is relevant. Most people, which the elite secret society are laughing at you, and they know this, go to church every week on a Sunday or whatever. Most people that do yoga sit on that mat, cross-legged, like doing all that, what for, I'll go into that, and they get the download. Well, when I get up in the morning, every day I do an hour meditation. I do yoga. The stretching, different. Stretching out exercise, yes. Need to exercise because we've been programmed to sat in our ass in the office watching telly. So just call it exercise. Yoga exercises, another label. I exercise, yeah. And I still need to do more. Let's stick to the yoga meditating part of it. So you're programmed like a puppet from the elite secret society programming you from listening to other spiritual gurus who program you to sit there at a particular time like in the morning or during lunch or at six o'clock i meditate and do yoga right but spirit is here now all the fucking time and when you're asleep they come to you in dream state so you are limiting yourself to pinpoint in a particular time but hold on a fucking minute there is no time if they need to tell you something it needs to be heard now but what you're doing is saying listen you lot you tell me what i supposed to know at this particular time. So what happens is 30 minutes after you sat there like a puppet doing meditation, asking for answers, that something that needed to know, half an hour later, you miss it because you think they're going to tell you something when you needed to know it half an hour later. It's detrimental and that's why you're not getting downloads because you're not listening. They tell you what's relevant in the now. This needed to hear now, maybe half an hour ago, the elite and secret society or whoever, the government, are coming out with something that you need to know or there's something that's going to happen in your life that you need to know. But you pinpoint it for that time when you're doing that meditation, you miss it. And that's why my life is so shit. Well, maybe if you just listen to them because they're hearing your reality all the time because there's no time. So all the time they're talking to you but you choose to hear it i didn't get the download sophia yes you fucking did i do this whenever i didn't put this aside next week tuesday i'm going to come up there and talk about yoga and religion and uh, no i got the download literally half an hour ago about an hour because i was talking to quite and i put this video on so you tell me how that's benefiting you in the slightest we have to talk about labels. For example, I do the school and I want to talk about gay children. I have to put gay children to come to the school because when you're growing up, the programming of society is so that you are a man, you go with a woman. So being gay, the label of gay means you feel opposite, so you feel different. But it's normal, but you feel different. So what they do is they label it as, what well, I'm gay. You're not actually feeling against being gay. Your feeling is about being different to what you're being taught or programmed. It's fuck all to do with the label of gay. It's to do with the program. So what you are doing as a gay person is going out there and teaching them another fucking label. Call yourself gay. No. My school is putting the title of if you feel gay, then teaching you about no nothing. You are just an experience. I don't come up here and say, hi, I'm Sophia, I'm straight. You don't go up there, hi, I'm Sarah, 
I'm non-identity. Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm non-binary. It's a fucking, what is that? What, what, what is that about? You, you just, you know, I'm, I, you know, I'm just an uh, experience on this planet, an infinite multi-dimensional being, consciousness. I'm not even Sophia. That's just another fucking label. Do you see? So I have to put the label to pull people in who don't know the story, their story, not Sarah's story, not his story, history, your story. And your story as a child, you was brought up into school in which you felt different, not gay, not straight, not a man wanting to wear a dress. You just felt different. And that's the programming of the elite, the secret society that you lot are fucking falling for because the devil wears Prada. Oh, no, because they're very spiritual and they talk like that and they have lovely long nails and they stand like that. And they say, dear, lo dear beloved ones. Wake the fuck up. I'm out. Speak to you later.